It's Monday, November 26th. Welcome to Pastor Bob Daily. You know, Christians, the Bible says, are supposed to be characterized by their love, by their compassion, by the way they feel towards each other. That's pretty exciting. Except we don't see it happening a whole lot. I was reminded of this yesterday when one of the homeless guys came up to talk to me. And to be honest, I was standing there feeling really good about things. We had, I guess, about 175 people yesterday that were standing in line. We were feeding them. It was one of those days where we ran short of food and my mom always says, close your eyes and keep scooping. And we do. And we had enough food. It happens all the time. Kind of a miracle. Absolutely a miracle. And we had a group called Live to Give that joined us yesterday that they actually made backpacks for all the homeless people. And uh, they spent a lot of money with these nice backpacks and then filling them full of things that the homeless community needs. And everybody was very excited. It was a great day. And they came with a lot of people. They spent great time with our homeless friends. And, you know, it was just a, a great day. And And I do what I usually do. I go through the line and I hug everybody. And, you know, we're family. It's a great time. And I came to this one guy as I was feeling really good about, you know, we're feeding them, we're giving them backpacks. You know, we've supplied so many things they need here today. It's just been great. And uh, and this guy was kind of standing on the side of the line. He wasn't in line, and I hadn't seen him for a while. And uh, he's one of those guys that's been selling uh, the newspaper that we have here locally called The Contributor. And by the way, they just did a, a really good story on, um, you probably can't see that, but uh, on my mom and my dad and, and, uh, and myself and just about uh, the homeless feeding. But anyway... So we hadn't seen him for a while, and I went up to him and told him it was really good to see him, gave him a big hug, and and uh, asked him how he was doing, and he said he's doing a lot better. You know, he's selling the newspapers really well. He's in an apartment. He's, you know, got his life going. He just feels really good about all that. And uh, I was just really excited to hear all of that. And, and then I said, well, come on and get in line. And he goes, no, I, I didn't come here to eat today. And I said, really? He said, no, I came because you're the only family that I have. And I just wanted to see you guys. And I'll tell you, you know, I had just been thinking about what a great thing it was that we were feeding, that we were giving these backpacks, that all this stuff was happening. And I almost missed, once again, the most important aspect of what we do under the bridge. It's not about food, it's about family. It's about connecting with people. And you know, folks, that's something I need to continue to remember. You know, when Christ told us to get involved with people's lives, to help them with, with clothing, with food, with shelter, with all of these things, and, and when he said, when you've done this to the least of one of these, you've done it with me, you know what he was really saying? They need your compassion. The stuff is important. And obviously people need things to be able to survive, but, you know, it isn't really about that. It's really about the compassion part of it. You know, we could be just down there giving away food and going through the line and not communicating with people. But, you know, that isn't what it's all about. You know, when people come through the line and they call my mom, mom, you know, and she asks them how they're doing and tells them that they, you know, she's happy to see them. She hasn't seen them for a while or, or they tell her that, you know, she's their favorite cook and, you know, that her cooking reminds them of, of their mom's cooking. You know, those are all connections that are priceless. And folks, that's what I want to share with you today because, you know, it isn't about what we do, it's about how we do it. And you don't have to have a big homeless ministry to show compassion to the people around you, to look somebody in the eyes, to care about them, to to get to the point, folks, where, where you are making a difference in somebody's life and they feel it because of your compassion. That's what Christ has called us to be. So go out and love some people today. Show them your love, show them your heart. It isn't about giving them stuff this season. And as we enter the holidays, man, it's not about that. It's about compassion and unconditional love and giving your heart away. 
God bless you. Have a great day.